Welcome to The Realistic View at Jenna, where we take a realistic perspective for progress. Today, let's talk about how to create your own reference or master file for all your videos. Well, a reference and a master file video is a video file that you use when you want to edit out your videos without adjusting too much to create as much consistency as possible in your videos. This is also a workflow tip, so if you're interested and you want to make videos faster, this is the video that you need. Now, let's look at what you need for this master file. I'll be using Premiere Pro to actually edit the video and create the master file. Outside of that program, you also need an intro. So here we have the intro that I'm using for my channel, the outro, of course, we need an outro. Then we need a watermark if you want to protect your content with your own branding on it. Maybe a little bit of music to adjust and give it a little bit of a background noise. The other thing that you might want to consider is creating a lower third. A lower third is a file that you use to uh, display information that you need for your social medias, uh, who you are, etc. Then finally we add it together, then adjust the file and then we have a master file. Well, let's start from the beginning. We add an intro. You can add the intro by dragging the overall sequence and you are done. So you can add the intro depending on your type of videos at the beginning or after a hot take. So a hot take is you talk about a certain type of topic and then you continue with the video. Add your introduction as a little bit of a reminder for your viewers that your brand is this. So eventually if you show your introduction enough people will start to remember that this channel is associated with you and vice versa then we place our watermark in a blank space so you can adjust it and check out where to do it i also made a video about it so if you're interested go check it out we drag the watermark by dragging the film signal then drag it out here, adjust the size to which you need. What I would recommend is go to the outer four layers of your actual video and place it in a corner that you need. So maybe at the right, below, at the right, at the top, at the left, at the top, or at the left, below. Usually what I do is I place it on the left and adjust the size a little bit so that it is more readable as well. So why did I place it on V2? V2 um, is actually a layer above your main layer so you don't uh, um, collide with your main video. Then we add, of course, the outro. The outro, the same thing. You drag it and you're done. Then we select the video. I placed a little clip of an old video that I made before and it's about resolutions in the year. So if you're interested in that, I also have a video and I'll link it. So we place the clip here. Then as you can see, the watermark is already present. Then we adjust the size of the clip itself to what I need. And that's okay. What you can do then is stretch out the watermark until you reach your outro. And now we add a little bit of music maybe. We add a small clip, maybe like this. And we drag it out till here. And then adjust it to this size and then add to a volume that you're going to use a lot so right click then you go to audio gain and adjust audio gain by a certain number that you need so usually i do minus 20 db and then i get a certain 
lower background noise that filters out a lot of the other noises. Then what we do is just the watermark of course again, then we have the outro and let's watch at the overall result. So we have the intro. Now we start with the clip. You see the watermark, Welcome a little bit of music. We, take a realistic perspective of progress. we talk and about a subject, etc., etc., et and then we have the outro. So that's the basics. And then what you do is you adjust the flow, of course, then adjust how you want to add your cuts and stretch out the amount of time that it takes to get to the outro, of course. Add a little bit of music and you have your basic master file or reference file for all your videos. If the video was helpful, leave a like. And if you like this type of topics, more marketing, realistic views on helpful tips that you might need for your regular life as well, Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. This is Ivan from the Realistic Viewer channel, helping you achieve more.